The pooch kick by FIU will be fielded at the 35-yard line by Alabama. And very quickly, the Golden Panthers opting to stay away from Bama's speedster, Javier Aritas. And there you see the secondary, Anthony Gator. A good one at left corner. McElroy, the short drop. There's Julio Jones. He had four catches a week ago. And Tyler, very early, the tide finds number eight. Missed a couple of days of practice because of the flu. And Nick Saban opted to go with Upchurch. Those two have been interchangeable. But this time, it looks like the Golden Panthers may have kept Alabama from picking up that first down. It's going to be very close. Yeah, now those, those three starters, though, have a, a full game under their belt. So you're looking to cut down on the number of mental mistakes that they've made, but they didn't give up, and they were able to finish the, the ball game like Barry Krause was talking about. Two tight end set. They run it to that side with Upchurch. Colin Feet and Preston Dial overloaded to the left side, and Alabama able to run that direction for a big game. See his numbers from a week ago. Had a couple of great runs. Had an unfortunate fumble, though, inside the red zone that Alabama was able to back, uh, bounce back from. They'll go on the reverse. There is Julio Jones. First time we've seen him in that type of situation, Tyler. You got McElroy actually split right. Upchurch, the Wildcat. Terry Grant in the game, but Upchurch will keep it himself, and he will pick up good yardage down to the 30-yard line. Earl Alexander, the wide out to the top of your picture with Jones in the slot. Darius Hanks to the near side on play action. McElroy with all day. Wanted to load up. Instead, he'll wait. He finds Alexander, and he's got another first down inside the 20-yard line. Trent Richardson into the ball game. The freshman, one of the most highly touted players in America, lowers his shoulder, runs over a tackler, and he picks up seven yards. Mays in the game to the top of your screen. The give, though, to Richardson again. He'll lower his shoulder again. He'll keep the legs churning, but FIU does a nice job of slowing down. Richardson and now we will see Lee Tiffin come on who made four of five and was recognized nationally for his effort. It's a chip shot. He boots it through and Alabama has now taken a 3-0 lead with 9.02 to go in the opening quarter of play. And they will start with the empty set, five wide outs, and you'll see a lot of this today. You'll also see the ball on the ground and that's about the worst way it could have started for the Golden Panthers as Bama gets a freebie there. Third down and all the way to the 25 needed. Pressure coming, looking for it all. And that one is going to be caught for a first down. Kareem Jackson, check that. Excuse me, it was Robbie Green, I believe. But now, Carlos Munera will have to punt. High spiraling kick, Arenas with a nice fake. And thankfully for the Tide, that one will just trickle into the end zone for a touchback. It's the tight end dial shifting to the H-back spot. And now McElroy will look. Dragging is Colin Peake, the tight end, and he makes the catch. It picks up an Alabama first down, a gain of a dozen on that play, Tyler. McElroy on the slant. Boy, he put that one on the money and a great grab in traffic by McCoy. Mike McCoy making the catch. Third about that much for the first. Fumbled snap. McElroy picks it up, and I think forward progress is going to give him the first down. That is a huge break for Alabama. Not so much. First and ten now for the Tide. The slant again to McCoy. Again, a first down. We talked about that about this last week. Nice little start. Five of six, better than 50 yards passing. Play action, rolling, looking. That's a great feed right there. Dumping it off to Dial. Preston Dial at the 25 and knocked down as he gets to the 24-yard line. McElroy from the shotgun. Looking, dragging again McCoy, and he needs one block for Mays, and he gets it, and he walks into the end zone for an Alabama touchdown. Here's Tiffin. The kickoff again. T.Y. Hilton, the deep man, and he'll take it from his five. Hilton at the 15, Hilton at the 20, Hilton at the 30, and that's why you don't want to kick it to him. He is off to the races. Can Julio Jones catch him? 25, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, 97 yards 
T.Y. Hilton. Although I don't know if he'll get a chance to field one. They're going to kick it short again, and a fair catch is called for. Is once again making it around the 38-yard line for Alabama. Will be Damian Square for McElroy, and that really wasn't his fault. Play action. He will look, he will look, and he will unload it. It's caught by McCoy. It's another first down. Good to see number 22 in the ball game. He was in the game at the end of the previous drive. A lot of time for McElroy. There's Ingram who makes the catch. Ingram looking to the outside. Ingram keeping his feet 30. Ingram 25, still on his feet inside the 15-yard line, and they'll spot him down there. 29-yard try from the snap of Selman. The hold of Fitzgerald. The kick by Lee Tiffin. He's had a great start to the year. Six of seven as it's capped by the field goal from Tiffin, who will kick off again for Alabama, and that one will go out of bounds, and that is not exactly what you wanted either. You're trying to kick it away from Hilton. Proud making a little noise as McCall will snap it with seven on the play clock. They dump it off, and that's a great call and great execution. They got a first down and more across midfield into Alabama territory. But once it did, it worked well for FIU. A lot of man coverage by Alabama to this point. Inside handoff, flag on the play. Very little running room there as you had Marcel Darius and Lorenzo Washington combine on the stop. Wanting a little bit of an explanation. Clip, number 50 on the offense. Penalty 15 yards from the previous spot. That remains first. Excuse me, Alajajian, the tackle, as they dump this one off. That's Hilton, and he's going to be brought down just shy of midfield. And that's the thing, is Alabama's had some great recruiting classes, and yet Nick Saban still will play a lot of young people. There's a deep ball. Kareem Jackson in single coverage is going to get him for pass interference because they've shown they can throw it down the field effectively and that's going to stretch that Alabama defense. That is. Or so you would think. They do pick up three, four, five, actually maybe six yards to the 30 now. Third down and a long three, maybe four actually for FIU as they'll dump it across the middle. Hilton with a lot of running room, 20. Hilton 15, Hilton 10. Hilton finally brought down shy of the five-yard line. My mistake. The camera was just shifted. It was not under five. They now have it at nine. McCall with nowhere to go. Empty set with five wideouts. Looking, throwing, pass, caught, touchdown, Golden Panthers. Frierson checked that Ellington who had the 46-yard grab on third down earlier in the game, makes that touchdown catch. Mark Ingram, who did not start the game, is the single setback. Play action, McElroy looking to throw. He's looking deep on the post route. McCoy bump and still makes the grab. Did not have a catch for Alabama. He's made up for it so far. So to Ingram as he rumbles inside the 15 and Alabama marching right back down the field to the FIU 13-yard line. That last one had covered 35 on the slant. Alexander makes the grab. That's enough for the first down as they'll spot him at the two. That is a full house backfield with Ingram running right behind Cody and not surprisingly, easily into the end zone for a touchdown. Alabama. Now let's see how the Bama defense can respond. Josh Chapman in the game at nose, the slant, and another great grab. Nick Gentry seeing action now for Alabama. 6-1 sophomore out of Prattville. In on that defensive front. And they will move the pile forward. They've got to get all the way to their own 49-yard line. Bama showing blitz. Here it comes. Arenas and Barron, they dump it off in time. Catch made by Roll. He's got a first down. Finally pushed out of bounds by McLean because it did indeed work out. Now third down and long. They've been dangerous here. They're actually four or five on third down. Let's update that for you. Four of six. Marcel Darius with a sack. 
Dunair on to punt. High spiraling kick. And again, Arenas will deep everybody into believing that he was going to make the fair catch and instead watches it bound into the end zone. They're four for four offensively. A pair of touchdowns, two field goals from Lee Tiffin. Let's see what they do here. Play action, scrambling, and he'll go down back inside the five-yard line. Mark Ingram tried to keep one defender off of him. So a loss all the way back to the five. Here's Ingram on the carry, trying to get some of it back, and he'll only get in the vicinity of the 10-yard line, and they'll have to get all the way to the 30 now for the first down. Now they'll have to kick it away on fourth down at about 16. Hilton is the deep man. And a high spiraling kick that will send Hilton back inside his 45. He makes one man miss on a second, but not a third or a fourth as Alabama's there to greet him. And they're probably a first down away from making that the case. Pass to Hilton, and he's going to be brought down on a nice open field tackle by Kareem Jackson. But the middle of that defense, very soft right now. So now third and three. The direct snap, and McCall, the quarterback, kept it himself. Play clock is at 7, game clock at 105 as they get the snap off. Pressure coming. A lot of red helmets chasing Paul McCall, and he throws it away incomplete. It might be intentional grounding. Ball did not get past the line of scrimmage, and he was not outside the tackle box. Intentional grounding, number 12, the offense. Penalty will be thought of the foul. Loss of down. You saw people First thought, take the lead. Second thought, let's don't have to punt at Tommy Arenas. This is this is Arenas' best opportunity to return the ball. He's got a lot of field to work with. Don't think they can get this one in the end zone. They're going to try, though. They'll force him into a fair catch as Arenas makes the grab at the 11-yard line. Let them set it up. We'll see what they do here on second. Again, just the handoff to Ingram. And he will cut it back, and he will pick up the first down, but with only six seconds left to go in the first half. In just a moment, our Cooks Pest Control sideline reporter Barry Krause will catch up with the Alabama head coach. Some good, some bad in the first 30 minutes of play, but the Tide goes to the locker room with a 30-14 to 14 lead. And the Tide will have to kick it away and hopefully be able to kick it away from T.Y. Hilton, and they do just that, but it will be good field position for the Golden Panthers as making the hit on special teams for the Crimson Tide will be Chris Jordan. So third and about 11 now. Working from the gun as always. Looking to throw, but going down again. Dante Hightower hits him. Drop back into the zone cover, so they're wanting to keep everything underneath them, so if a, a pass is completed, but kill it. Terry Grant just missed getting a hand on that punt, and now Arenas will have a chance to return one, trying to get to the boundary, but he'll be forced out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Terry Grant. So Alabama stopped by FIU, and now Fitzgerald will have to punt. Again, it's only a six-point Alabama lead. Beautiful, high, spiraling kick, forcing Hilton to make the fair catch. Contact, but not until the catch was made and they finally dropped the flag. On the play, the kicking team player was pushed into the receiver. Therefore, there is no foul. Disregard the flag. And I guess from the Alabama side, you're wondering why is it not a clip there? Or at least a block in the back. It is a moot point now as Bama stops the Golden Panthers for a loss back at the 21-yard line. You dance around, you look up, and there's... Orlando McLean and Terrence Cody staring you right in the face. They try to go up top, and they do successfully again, taking advantage of the 6-4 range of Greg Ellingson. Under 10 minutes to go in the third. Third and six. Ball batted into the air and incomplete. There is a flag on the play. You're going to get good, better Holding field position. Number 58, that penalty to Klein makes it fourth down. Dead ball. Unsportsmanlike foul, number 58, 15-yard penalty. Fourth down. One of the most dangerous return men in America, Javier Arenas, looking for some running room. He will make the grab at the 30. Arenas, 35, 
Arenas, open field, midfield. Arenas, across midfield, down to the 42-yard line of FIU. They're getting big yardage or touchdowns. Second and 10, they'll swing it out to Richardson. He'll make one man miss. He'll lower his head. He'll run over two more. And that might be the jaw-dropping play I was anticipating coming <laughs> this game. Now second and 10 for Alabama. Give to Ingram, running room, 25. Running room as he is finally pulled out at the 21-yard line. And here comes a 39-yard try from the foot of Lee Tiffin. Two for two thus far, six of seven on the year. That kick is up, and he hooked it left. You don't think that's big right there? It's still a one-possession game. So the Tide fails to score. Paul McCall, the fifth-year senior at quarterback, on play action, looking to throw, dumps it off. Catch is made. Kareem Jackson tried to knock it loose. They've got to get across the 32 of Alabama to keep this drive going. Bama showing blitz. And they'll rush four, and Marcel Darius will get him. So McCall's back there thinking, i got to get rid of the football. I'm looking for a quick slant. And they're just running all over the place. A low-line drive, and Arenas is salivating at the 30. Javi 35, Javi 40, dancing around 45, spinning to midfield. He'll be brought down officially right at the midfield stripe, and Alabama will have it there. He just has to keep doing what he's been doing. Give to Richardson, and the freshman bulls his way inside the 45 to the 44-yard line. 4.44 to go. Third quarter, Hanks, his first catch of the day. That's enough for the first down. He's drug out of bounds. Play action again. Looking, dumping it off Richardson. Richardson makes a man miss, keeps his feet, works his way toward that first down mark. Six-point Bama lead, trying to add to it. First and 10 from just outside the FIU. 20 to give Richardson, 15. Dives toward the 10-yard line, and Trent Richardson, Earl Alexander, the wideout, to the bottom of your screen. But the give will be to Richardson again. Trent Richardson will score his first Alabama touchdown, and the Crimson Tide leads it 26-14. to They'll go for two. Ingram in the ballgame. Colin Peake, the tight end, also in there. They'll swing it out near side, looking for Peake, but he can't hang on to it. Bobbled it and lost it out of bounds. A great effort. And that's when the speed of Alabama is able to adjust and bring him down. Munera on to punt again. Another high spiraling kick, maybe his best effort of the night. Don't know if the numbers will show that, but forcing Arenas into a fair catch. The senior out of Estavy Hills, Alabama, one of the best in the country as a snapper. But Fitzgerald with a low wobbly kick that does take an Alabama roll initially before being down by Kirkpatrick. <laughs> Heavy pressure coming. Pass though is caught and you got a whistle before the snap and the play clock may have hit zero. Penn Wagers and his crew very busy tonight. Dead ball, delay of game on the offense. Penalty five yards down main third. See his long of 53 yards. Snap a little bit off the mark, and he now will boom another one. Sending Arenas back to his 19-yard line. Javi at the 20, Javi at the 30, Javi at the 40. Javi on his feet, finally brought down at the 40-yard line of FIU. Bama leading it by a dozen, second down and six. Richardson, the lone setback, he'll get the call. Richardson in the open field, and forget it, Trent Richardson has just rushed 35 yards, and Alabama has taken now a commanding 32-14 to 14 lead. First and 10 from their own 24-yard line. They'll swing this one out, connecting with Perry, and he's got nice yardage across the 35 to the 33-yard line. Second and 12. McCall swings it out. Ellingson making the grab on fourth and two. Bunched up in the middle. They'll run it to the right side, and McCall, it's going to depend on the spot. 
But it doesn't look like he got it. Wow. I thought he had it easily at first glance, Tyler, and then as they brought those chains over, well, I, I didn't think they had enough. I'm sitting a little to your right, and from my angle, it didn't look like he had it. And it's, it's difficult to hydrate yourself to the to point that you need on Thursday and Friday. Despite the cramps, they asked McCall to run, and he's able to pick up good yardage again. Fourth and three. Four-man rush, but well covered. He has to throw it at the feet of the running back. They may drop a flag on that one. They will. Smelly, the H-back. Richardson, the tailback. He'll get the carry. He'll get running room. He'll get the first down, and he'll also get over 100 yards rushing now on the night. That's right. <laughs> Very few have guns like that or legs like Ingram's, and he'll take it the distance for an Alabama touchdown. 42 yards, Terry Grant, excuse me, 2-9, not 2-2. Two, two. Just at the start of preseason camp. It was not an easy preseason for Alabama. A few distractions, but the tide has weathered it. That's a little more difficult, though, than coming off a loss. No question. McLean slinging Darriot Perry to the turf. When your position changes, you really have to almost change your body type, add a lot more weight in some cases, as Reamer had to do. Pass across the middle, caught. Had to bulk up to play tight end. Younger has the snap go through his hands. He'll pick it up and running for his life. And a flag comes in. I think somebody from Alabama may have gotten a hand on a face mask. You would think it was certainly much more than a cramp. Ball batted around. Mark Barron's got it. And Alabama turns away FIU again. And Thomas Dara will come in at quarterback now for the Crimson Tide. He'll hand it off to Terry Grant, who cuts it back. Grant spinning and finally out of bounds. Give you as many names as we can as Grant gets close to the first down mark, but I think he's going to be just shy of that. The give to Grant right up the gut. He's got the first down and more. Tell you what, that'll help those young guys, Tyler, going into this next week. They'll hand it off, and Good bounces it to the outside. Good near the first down mark. We'll see where they spot it. That is enough. Jackson, the give. Good once again. And he'll get to the 20-yard line, a gain of five, maybe six. Over 500 yards, a total offense tonight for the Crimson Tide as Good will get the final carry, you would think, for Alabama. As the clock will continue to run, and that will be enough for Alabama. They will move the chains, but once they do, the clock will start again, and the handshakes will ensue on the sidelines. And now the head coaches will meet at midfield. Nick Saban and FIU's Mario Cristobal exchanging pleasantries as Alabama wore down the Golden Panthers who gave the Tide all they wanted for the first 30 minutes. But Bama pulled away for the 40-14 victory.